Outstanding. Wow, where have you been hiding all these years with that voice? I know she does. Might be some Prince fans in here. One, like two, like Prince. What about the Moonflower Miss? Anybody like that one? I got a couple hands up. Velvet Knight? A couple hands up. Again, thank you, Ken Walker, for the nice job with the bugle. Yay! He'll get to do that five more times for tonight before he has to drive all the way back to Oshkosh by Gosh Country. But he's going to do all the races for us tonight. Drove all the way up here today, right, Ken? Yep. <laughs> Got to go back to work tomorrow? No, it's a day off. A day off tomorrow. <laughs> oh, honey, do list, probably. All right. Now what is a $1,000 lifetime coming on parade? Some of these horses are very, very inexperienced. Purdy Yankee girl with Gabe Wan in the race bike. This is the experienced one. The three-year-old has two lifetime starts. Those were at Cannon Falls. Two this year, that is, made $310. And last year raced twice. Four lifetime starts. She's the experienced one out of the bunch. Prince Monte, five years old. No starts this year. Nick Carter in the race bike. I always tell Nick by the colors and that long ponytail he's got. I thought about raising a ponytail too, because it's not growing on top. I'll try the backside. Moonflower Miss, again with uh, David Carter. That's Papa. Good looking filly. A gray. Looks like she's a gray. Or a roan. I believe a gray. First lifetime start owned by Jane Carter, David's bride. Velvet Knight owned by David. So David actually owns the two horse and the four horse. His wife owns the three horse. The daughter Wendy owns the one horse. This is the Carter face. Either way, one of the cars are going to win in this race. There he goes, Nick. See that ponytail hanging down, folks? You see the three horse, the little gray? First lifetime start for this horse, so don't expect this to be a, you know, a real experienced bunch. We told them the only three of them have never been on the racetrack, basically. Two have never raced in their life. They've trained a lot, but have not raced. The Velvet Knight. Did we get a driver on Velvet Knight? All right, again, that's Chris Frenzel. You can mark, if you want to mark that down, Velvet Knight, the red and white colors of Chris Frenzel in the race bike. All right, Butch Douglas, our starting judge, has called the field of four Pacers. Now, what is a $1,000 life time? Division one, rail out, pretty Yankee girl, better's choice. At the rail with Gabe Wan, driver of the year last year in Wisconsin, and the year before, the year before, the year before. Prince Monty with Nick Carter with the tail. Dave Carter with Moonflower Miss and Chris Frenzel on the outside with Velvet Nut. We've got a Wan in here, two Carters, and a Frenzel. 
Really count. So everybody gets away nice and safe. Kind of go first away again. That's the four horse Velvet Knight. Velvet Knight again taking over quickly for Chris Frenzel. Pretty Yankee girl in the two spotter. Prince Monty around that turn. Then Moonflower Miss Trails. Now in the back lane for the first time again. Velvet Knight by about three open lengths on the rest of the Carter clan. In the two hole, Pretty Yankee girl. Nick Carter trying to keep the Prince together down the back side. He does look something happy. Way up the racetrack, Moonflower Miss. She just watching the buds. Down to the quarter mile mark again on the front end. Velvet Knight in control of this field of four. Gets him there quickly. 31 and three, that's a pretty quick quarter for the first lifetime start for Velvet Knight. Well, he's been resting up for three or four years. He shouldn't get tired too quick. Velvet Knight by about four lengths, but pretty Yankee girls beginning to close the gap a little bit. Also, Prince Monte and Moonflower miss these distance. Down the lane for the first time, twice around this half mile track. The hobble pieces coming on by. On the front end again, that is Velvet Knight. Velvet Knight and Chris Frenzel get to the half. Pretty Yankee girl into the clubhouse turn. 103, 103 to the half into the clubhouse turn again. That is Velvet Knight. That's a big half, 103. That horse is ready. Pretty Yankee girl. All of us bet on Pretty Yankee girl. She's got a long way to go just to catch the Velvet Knight. Down the back lane, Prince Monty third. Again, a Moonflower misses distance. They race down the back lane for the final time, looking for that quarter mile mark, three quarter mile spot. Again, Velvet Knight, but maybe Pretty Yankee Girls got something in the tank. Could be a two horse race right now. Three quarter mile mark, what do we got? 135 and four, 135 and four, can't Pretty Yankee Girl move a little bit on the outside as he tips him out. Talking about game one, trying to keep up, let alone come on this horse. On the front end again, Velvet Knights got him by a length and a half. Pretty Yankee Girl comes out. Now you got a horse race. Pretty Yankee Girl in the middle of the racetrack, and Dave Boyle will take right over. There she is. She went off at uh, five to three, I think. Not much odds. Won't pay much at the window. Oh, we don't have windows here. That's right. Velvet Knight, though, I'll tell you, first lifetime start. Look like a nice little racehorse. This is what I like, folks. She's last, but I still like this gray hairs. Good looking horse. She'll catch up. Big two-year-old. Needs some, needs some experience. Top down, pretty Yankee girl was the winner. Prince Monty was three. Moonflower Miss was four. Velvet Knight was two. Top down, it's one, three, four, two. Two, eight, and three. Here's a winning combo. But I still like that horse that was second. That night horse raced good for you, Chris. You raced real good for horses that never raced. Nice job. Here's Pretty Yankee Girl. Finally wins one. Three-year-old by Rustless Yankee. One of the better sires in the Midwest. Horse is owned by Wendy Sue Heberberg out of Elk Mound. She is uh, the daughter of David Carter. Gabe Wan, the winning driver. So the quarter is 31 and three-fifths. The half was 103, three quarters, 135 and four fifths, the mile 283.